we are going to check this alternator. Uh, turn this on, earthing switch. There's our alternator that looks all original. It's, it's all been painted, so I imagine that's been there since day one. And you got to keep in mind, there are brushes and diotrios and bushings and bearings and so forth like that. And in these conditions that these things run in, I'd imagine that that thing's full of dirt and got other problems. So let's just see what we've got here. I've already got it turned to voltage. We are showing 12 volts pull. I got it hooked up backwards, but who cares? So 12.51 volts. I did notice the other day, and I mentioned it to Sean this morning, that this switch was on. So let's turn this switch off. And I also found out this is an inverter. Uh, it takes the system from 24 volts down to 12 volts, and that might be why we saw heat the other night there. But let's see what we got here now. So, well, that obviously was not it, that switch being on. Now, I was a little bit, uh, oh, I wanted to show that too. Yeah, I finished that. I, I lost some footage, but there's, there's your Lee Boy NG right there. And it is Morris Garages. So anyway, so that's off. I don't think this would function without the thing in there anyway, but there is a, a, a remote uh, controller that goes there. So now let's uh, go see. Now, I looked at this thing with my FLIR, but that, that casing is so thick that I just don't, you might be able to read it in there, but if it's the Dio Trio or Rectifier or whatever, so let's just unplug this sucker and uh, go with it that way. So uh, let's go over here. And, uh, uh, let's see what we got now. Uh, well, the voltage. Look at it plummeting. Well, that's interesting. Well, I think we got a bad alternator. So I didn't unhook the battery connector up there. Look at that still going down. Let's see if it ends up at zero. Let's see if you can stand the anticipation here. Maybe I'll do a wobble wobble, but I don't think it's going to take that much time. I'm curious to see where it bottoms out. 1.7, 1.6. Well, I can't wait to show that to Sean. Yeah, I could probably do a little better and not get stuff on my fluke cover. Look at that, 1.3. Now, 0 0.005 or something is what you go for. I think pulling 12 volts, and I don't know what the amperage would be. If you've lost a diode, in the, one of the diode trios of the alternator, you're not going to have a tremendous draw through that. Uh, it is dropping precipitously, indubitably. I don't know where she's going to bottom out, but she's still going down. I've had trouble with alternators doing this before. I'm just curious as I can be here. We're going to be down under a volt here soon. Yeah, she's slowing down some. But she's still going. It's going to rain here pretty soon. I don't, <laughs> I don't want that to touch the post. Well, that seems to be the, you know, it might bottom out more than that. I don't know. Uh, so we're right at a volt. So that's better than 12 volts. So there could be some other, let me get this inside. I don't want to get rain on it. You can tell by the, the funky looking clouds and everything that it's going to be. It might be a stormy afternoon. I think that's kind of what they're calling for. So I'll let him know and see what, well, it is sort of, oh, it's just weird looking up there. Uh, I'll put some dielectric grease on it because uh, I'm just that kind of guy, even if it's not working right. All right, let's get that up in there and then 
that'll just that'll help out in the future but for now uh, we're gonna do that so when he comes and picks it up he won't he won't suffer any ill effects so alternators certainly can charge when they have their odd problems uh, so I'm glad I didn't have to take that battery terminal off and once again you can see the paint back there you know that that alternator is original what is that thing Ah, uh, Delco Remy, made in USA. So that shouldn't be too... I probably got one here, but the thing is, uh, I probably got three of them upstairs that would probably work, but this ain't... They don't... I don't have clearance to do that yet. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think I might have one right here. And these are your one-wire ones. Now, I, I guess I could do that. Uh... But I don't really want to bypass uh, whatever other systems they have to see if it's charging. But uh, yeah, I'm sure that there's a, there's one in there. Up Dock Auto, yeah. Well, that's that's the Denso one off the TR4. That's the original one off. That's not really an original one, but that's one off behind it. It's the same thing, but it's a little different style. And I don't want to be responsible for that unless they unless they tell me to do it. Changing, changing the pulleys is not always a big deal. It can be, but it's not always. So if it's going to rain, let me let me button this thing up. So if he comes to pick it up, uh, I'll turn that back off. I'll button this up a little bit. I don't think any rain getting in there is going to hurt anything. Oh God, that's terrible. That's a terrible way to live there. Let's get her bolt back. So anyway, uh. I'm going to just sort of half put that back up on in there. And I'm going to probably leave that cover off of there. And, uh, and well, I guess I could put that back on. And we're locked in. Okay, so happy motoring. And uh, we'll talk later. Oh, yeah, thumbs up and subscribe. Don't, don't forget that. Well, I almost did. Don't do that. Don't let that happen to you.